Hey, good evening, guys. How's everything? Great. Nuri, how are you, Nuri? How was your day today? Hi, teacher. All good? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. Yes. Well, guys, and hold, you? hold on, guys. I can't hear you. All right, I can hear you now. Uh, yes, Nuri, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So, how's it going, Nuri? Everything good? All right. Very good, Francisco. How are you, Francisco? Hello, good evening, coach. I'm fine. And you? All good, man. All good. All right. Glad to see you guys. All right, David. What's going on, David? How's your day going so far? A uh, little tired. Hi. Tired. Hi, yes. Did you just come from work? Uh, yes. All right. Very good. Ilda, how's it going, Ilda? Hi, teacher. Uh, I'm good. I am also sorry because at the absent of the class, because I was traveling the United States by, by work for oh, nice. five, 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 five years, five, five days. Okay. For five days. Did you yes. Oh, that's nice. Where, where did you go? Uh, Los Angeles. Nice, nice. Very good. Los Angeles. Did, did you complete the platform? Yes, I uh -huh. Yes, I complete the 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 exercise. The the next the up uh, the the thir third third week. The finish. You finish section number. Hold on. Number you, three. Number three, you, you need to finish the whole platform already, okay? okay. All right, very good. But uh, but good job, okay? I finished I, I finish the middle term. The middle term. The midterm. In okay. another in another unit. Only. Oh, okay. okay, very good. All right, very good. All right, Rafa, welcome, Rafa. Thank you very much, Hilda. All right. Um, and uh, Rafa, how's it how's it going, Rafa? Everything good? Okay, your microphone isn't working. All right, very good. All right, guys, so yesterday we were talking about noun phrases, right, containing relative clauses, okay? Um, so did you know, guys, guys that, uh, well, today, guys, we're going to go over noun phrases containing relative clauses but being used as objects, okay? Now, remember, guys, if I have an object, all right, if I have an object, an object can be what? Tell me the two to, uh, the two things an object can be, guys, in grammar. What are the two things an object can be in grammar terms? Yes, anybody? So nobody. Modify okay. the verb. Okay, right. Uh, very good. Okay, yeah. It. Uh, no, that's not a subject. Okay, tell me the two things a subject can be, guys. Okay, a subject can can be two things. What are the What are the two uh, the two things that a subject can be? All right, I'll help you then. Okay. So it can be a noun. Or what? Pronoun. Or pronoun, guys, okay? All right, it could be a noun or a pronoun, guys, okay? Do not forget this. Guys, this is the reason why, right? This is the reason why we have here, you see? The subject, guys, can be one thing I'd have, I'd, uh, I'd like to have, okay? Which is working as a what? What is this a whole thing, guys? First of all, okay, so what is one thing? Is it a pronoun or a noun, guys? Pending classes. Okay. All right, well, one thing, guys. One thing is not a pronoun clause. No, one thing is what? 
One thing no, is, is a noun, okay? One thing is a noun, okay? All right? And remember, a noun can be a subject, okay? So it's, a, it's the subject of the sentence, and the type of subject it is, is a noun, okay? One thing, guys, okay? So if you say one thing I'd like to have, guys, this is working, the whole phrase, guys, is working as a noun, right? Toda la frase está funcionando como un sustantivo, yes? So the whole phrase is a subject, got it? All right, got it, guys? All right, I'm gonna say this in Spanish. All right, cuando vos decís sujeto, el sujeto puede ser un noun or un pronoun, okay? Está el noun or pronoun son subcategorías del sujeto, got it? All right, so now, why is this important, guys? Because, okay, you have to understand what an object is, all right? And, all right, so I'll ask you this question, David, all right? So what can an object be? In grammar terms, what can an object be? A uh, modified verse. No, guys, all right. Guys, all right, you're not paying attention to what I, I just explained, guys, what a subject is, right? I can't get a subject. And the subject, guys, can be the object, okay? Lo mismo que un subject puede ser, puede ser un object. Got it? So I'll ask you again, everybody, okay? What can an object be? Can be the subject. Subject. <clears throat> an object, guys, can be, subject. all right? That's okay, right? Subject an object can be, can be a noun or okay. pronoun, okay? Pronoun. Same thing, guys, all right? Subject. Guys, the subject and object, guys, los dos pueden ser noun or pronouns, okay? All right, they're pretty much the same thing, okay? What is the difference between them two? What's the difference between a subject and an object? What's the única diferencia? Okay. The function. The function, guys, okay, right? So one is the performer of the action. One is affecting the other, okay? The performer and the receiver of the action, see? Okay, so this right here, guys, all right, the subject, okay, this is the performer, okay? This right here, guys, is the performer, okay? All right, oh, All right, let's put it like this, okay? This is the performer, guys, and this is the receiver. We could call it like that, okay? All right, basically the object, you know, is what we're talking about. Right. The uh, hold on, guys. All right, very good. So, so, uh, so basically, they're they're pretty much the same guys, but one is the performer and the other one is the receiver of the action. Right. The other one is what we are talking about. Okay. Now it's important to remember these two things, guys, because. All right, the structure we're talking about right now is, you know, using noun phrases as subjects, right? So see, where do we have the, the noun phrase, guys, okay? It's right here, right? And where do we have the object? It's right here, okay? So yesterday, you were giving me examples about this, right? One thing I'd like, I'd like to have is my brother's car, which, by the way, guys, we were talking about relative clauses, okay? Where do I have the relative clause here, by the way, guys? I'd like to have. I'd like to have. Why is it a relative clause, guys? Because you can put that, that. Because, right, we have the relative pronoun that, right? We can use that here, but it's invisible, correct? All right. All right. Very good. Just like, you know, you're invisible to your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, right? This is invisible, okay? There is a that here, guys, that is invisible, okay? All right. See, one thing that I'd like to have is my brother's car. One thing I'd like to have is my brother's car, my brother's car, right? So it's exactly the same thing, okay? All right, very good. Are we following, everybody? Are we following so far? Todo mundo vamos siguiendo hasta ahora? All right, very good. Give me, all right, do me a favor, guys, okay? All right, real quick, give me one of your own examples, okay? Because I need you guys, in order for to understand the next topic, para que ustedes entiendan el siguiente topic, guys, and the exercises that I got prepared for you, I need you to be 
sure about this, okay? So follow, guys, follow. You have you already have the structure from yesterday, right? So let's follow, guys, the example that I'm giving you here, all right? And you give me your own example, okay? You can say one link, one thing that I'd like to have, uh, one thing I desire is, okay, follow the structure right here, okay? All right, very good. Let's start with you, Nori. <clears throat> my, <clears throat> sorry, That's my okay. brother's car uh, is the one thing I like to have. Okay, okay all right, very, very good. Uh, that no, I, I wanted you to give me this example. Um, where did you get that example from? I mean, that that's good. I mean, that's what we're going to talk about. But is that the one from the platform? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Very good, Nuri. Very good. Okay. You gave me you, you gave me an example, uh, which is what we're going to talk about soon. Okay. I want you to give me an example like this. Right. One thing. All right. I don't want you to read. I want you to give me your own example. Okay. But think about it. Okay. All right. Actually, guys, let me choose the last person who turns on the camera. That's either going to be Oscar or Malin, right? So there you go. Thank you very much, Oscar. All right, teacher. All right, Oscar, give me one of your own examples. Okay, one thing I'd like to have is, or one thing I'd like to do is. Um, I like to travel. No, all right, you have to give me one example, guys. One example like this, okay? Uh, okay, one of the things. <laughs> that I hate is for getting my my the house keys. Very good. Okay, good job. I like that. Okay, very good example. Uh, Adrian, give me your example, Adrian. One thing I would like to have is a house in the country. Very good. One thing that I would like to have is a house in the country. Very good. Perfect example. Malin, give me one example, Malin. All right, you're muted. My the teacher. Sorry. One thing that I really love is travel. Okay. It's traveling, not travel, right? One thing. All right. One thing that I really love is traveling okay now let's break this down guys okay let's break it down break it down guys means this glossar okay break it down all right very good all right so uh let's see let's see francisco all right so where is the subject of this this sentence one thing one thing, very good, okay, so there you have, all right, so this right here, guys, this is the subject, okay, all right, very good, uh, where do I have the start, where do I have the relative clause, uh, Monica? That. All right, that is not the relative clause, uh, -uh. that's yeah. a relative pronoun. Ah, okay. The relative clause. That I really love. That I really love, okay. Very good, okay. So you have the relative clause here, okay, all right? Very good. Uh, let's see, Ilda, where do I have the object of the sentence? Let's not forget about the verb B, guys, okay? I'm just gonna place the verb be here and then the object of the sentence okay where do we find it is uh, is the chat no the object is traveling guys okay it's traveling you don't know all right okay. that's okay right okay. so now guys okay so this is the this is the object of the sentence right all right very good okay so we practiced you know this yesterday Okay, now that you know, guys, what each of them does, all right, and how to, how to, um, how to build uh, a sentence like this, guys, okay, I want to show you, 
I want to show you something else, okay? So we're going to learn, guys. I want you to pay attention to what happens here, guys, okay? Did you write down the structure here, guys? Ya escribió la estructura aquí. Did you, did you take a screenshot? Right? I got it. If you haven't, okay, very good, okay? Uh, send it to the WhatsApp group if you can, guys, okay? All right, that'll be great. All right, so um, notice what happens here, okay? So before I, I, uh, before I teach you guys, before I show you the next slide, I'd like to ask you something, okay? In what position do you see the noun phrase containing the relative plus? In what position do you see the noun phrase containing the relative plus? First one. All right, first the first one. one, okay? And this is the <laughs> subject, right? Now, check this out. Now, in what position do you see it? The second one. Okay, yes, so it's right here, guys, okay? One thing I like to have, okay? Now, so the subject, guys, the subject became the object this time, all right? Now, be careful, guys, because this is just to show you, all right? This is just to show you what happens, okay, right? So, see, there is movement, right? So, the subject became the object, see? All right? The subject right here, guys, became the, the object. The verb is in the same place, okay? We're just switching positions, see? All right? Very good. So... So what happens here, guys, okay? Now, the object, guys, of this sentence, I think this is gonna allow me to move. All right, hold on. So the object of this sentence, guys, so, oh, sorry, hold on. All right, this became the, hold on. There's something else here. All right, so this is actually now, guys, this object, okay? And this right here, guys, became the object, all right? So see? So now, guys, the object of um, the subject, remember that is the performer of the action, right? So you still have the same structure. You have the subject, the verb be, and the object. But now, guys, the noun phrase containing the relative plus, guys, is the object of the sentence, okay? So basically, guys, the, the whole thing, you know, we're talking about here is that we can switch them over, okay? So now this says, um, Rafa, help me read, Rafa. My brother's car is one thing I like to have. Very good. Okay. My brother's car is one thing I'd like to have. Okay. Now, obviously, guys, this is with uppercase to show you, right? But you don't have to do it like that. All right. So what, what does it say here, Rafa? Okay. One thing I like to have is my brother's car. All right. And now? My brother's car is one thing I like to have. Very good, okay, so, all right, do you understand, guys? All right, easy, right? Like, not complicated at all, right? So what you're gonna do, guys, is just, you're just gonna switch them around. Does it mean the same, yes or no? So what's the difference, guys? What, why do you think that you would say one over the other? Change the subject. The order. Change the order. All right. The, the action, the subject. Okay, right, very good. Guys, in reality, there is no difference, okay? All right. In reality, there is no difference. However, guys, there is more, there is emphasis. If I say, if I say, guys, one thing I'd like to have is my brother's car, I'm emphasize, the emphasis is here, see? One thing I'd like to have. El único que cambia, guys, es el emphasis, okay? Cuando estoy hablando. All right, I'm going to focus more on one thing I'd like to have. Me voy a enfocar más en one thing I'd like to have, okay? If I use, you know, if I use it as the, the object, now my focus is not here. My focus is my brother's car, see? So basically, guys, the difference is that the whatever is in first place, that's going to be your focus, okay? Lo que sea que veas en, el, en primer lugar es el, el, es el enfoque que estás dando, okay? All right? Does it change the meaning? No, it doesn't change the meaning, okay? It's just you're giving it more focus, then that's it, no? All right? 
Is that clear? Yes. All right, very good. Do me a favor, guys. I want everybody, guys, to send me. Actually, do, do me. All right, we're, we're going to do this, okay? In your notebook, I'm gonna, you're going to work in couples, and you're going to give me five examples with, all right, with, with the whole thing here, guys. Okay, noun phrases contain relative clauses as subjects, okay? So like, like this, got it? Five examples like this, okay? And you're going to give me the same examples like this, okay? I'll repeat, guys, in Spanish. Me van a dar, guys, cinco ejemplos de esta manera. Y, de, y del ejemplo que vos tengas, lo vas a turn it around, ¿ok? You're going to switch positions. Got it? Le vas a cambiar de posición. Got it? Got it. All right. Very good. Another thing I want you to remember, guys, and you're having a lot of issues with this, and it's because it's normal, ¿ok? All right. When you have the verb be, guys, and you either, you need to use, and write this down, everybody, you should write this down because I don't want anybody making mistakes here, okay? All right? So over here, guys, okay? Oh, let me put it like this, okay? So let's talk about the verb be, okay? So after the verb be, all right? So after the whatever over there, okay. So after the verb be, all right, you're gonna use guys, you can either use a noun, all right, you can use a, I'm sorry, a noun, a noun phrase, a noun or, or noun phrase, you can use um, a gerund. Do we all know what a gerund is, guys? Okay, very good, okay. I read down there just in case you forgot, okay? Or you can use an infinitive, okay? Do we know what an infinitive is? Two plus a verb in base, a verb in base form, right? Right? So examples, guys. Okay, so you can say, all right, uh, one thing that I really love is, if I use a noun, guys, what can I use? David, what can I use, David? Give me a noun that I can use here. A noun? Yes. C can you repeat this again, the, the sentence? It, it's the sentence that we have here. Is this sentence? Is a, a watching soccer match. Okay, I need a noun. Remember, I need a noun. Soccer match. Very good. Okay, very good. Uh, one thing I really love is a soccer match. Right? You, you forgot the the article there. Okay, so a soccer match. Very good. Okay, good job, David. All right. Uh, let's see. Tati, Tati, give me a gerund, Tati. All right, let's use a gerund now, okay? One thing I really love is... Tati, all right, Tati, maybe your microphone is not working. All right, who'd like to give me an example with a gerund, gerund guys? Swimming, dancing. It's swimming, okay, right, very good. So. Swimming, right? Or dancing, very good. Monica, give me an example with an infinitive. Um, my own business, maybe? Remember, no. an infinitive is two plus the verb in base form. To swim. To play, right? <laughs> okay. To visit. To visit. To visit what? Okay. A museum. To visit museums, okay? Very good, guys, okay? All right. So thank you. Thank you, Monica, and thank you. I don't really know who gave me the right, the right answer. 
Okay, all right. Monica, would you like to give me another example? With a different okay. verb. Okay. <laughs> One thing that I really love is, uh, no, is no, two. Is two, uh huh? Is two. Um, um, go to it. To tweet, oh, okay. Very good, oh. to tweet. <laughs> okay. All right, very good. Yeah, all right. Is that what you said, to tweet? <laughs> no. No? Oh, okay, well, that, that's good. That's a good example, okay, right? Una cosa que me encanta es tuitear, right? Very good, all right, very good. So, being on Twitter. All right, very good. Thank you, Monica. So, guys, all right? All right, everything clear here up to this point, guys? Todo claro hasta este punto. Don't be afraid to ask, okay? Yeah. All right, very good, okay? So what you're gonna, is it understood what you're gonna do, guys? Todo mundo entendió lo que va a hacer? How many yes. phrases do I want? How many phrases do I want in total? 10. 10, Ten. Ten right, okay? Uh, all right, so in this case, guys, if, if my example is one thing I really love, that I really love is traveling, what will be the second sentence that you're going to give me? ¿Cuál va a ser la segunda oración que me van a dar? Traveling is the one thing that I really love. Yes, one thing I really love. Very good. Good job, Nori. Good job. All right. Excellent. Okay. Very good, guys. So, uh, five and five, guys, and let's get started, okay? Hold on. All right, let's go. Nice to see. Okay, number one. Number one, guys. Good. Go. Ah. Go ahead. Okay. My sister pool is the one thing I'd like to have. Yeah, that's good. Then, uh, one thing. I like to have is my sister pool. Very good. Okay, now you. But I'm not able to. To see what's up, can you tell me what is the second one? Mm. I would, yes. Because I am not able I to see it now. We, now. We don't have here. You have to. What are the sentences we are doing in the reverse way? You have to create your own sentences, guys. I think everyone, right, teacher? Yes, yes, exactly. Oh, okay, it's your okay. example. Yeah, I your will examples. use my imagination. Your imagination. Yeah, I will yes. use my imagination. The one that you have in the hard drive of your, of okay. your body. Okay, go ahead, Mailing. Maybe I am going to be the um, last one. One thing that I really like is dancing. Okay. The other one. In the mailing ever sway. Um I think um sorry. 
Dancing. Dancing. Is one thing I really like. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. my, my pet. Um, to be um can use pass the bar to be yes 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 the bar to be but like is the like the the image that they been sent Um, everything good, guys? Okay. I think Tatiana has some doubts. Okay, right. but but we understand what we're gonna do, right? Yeah, I do. I do. Yes, but I confused the example. Uh, I think they sent them to the WhatsApp group. Los enviaron a WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, yes. Okay, very good. Or, or do you want me to uh, to explain something? Um, for example, the teacher is come to say to the clubs. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so just you can say one thing, you know, one thing I I really like or one thing I really love is the mm -hmm. teacher coming to class. All right, and then you need to do um to switch positions, right? So the teacher coming to class is one thing that I really like. Okay, so that's all you're gonna do. All right. Uh, if you can, Marcos, you may share, you know, the I don't know if you want to do it like that, okay, but you can share your screen too. Okay. So you can practice together. All right. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, do you have any other question, Tati? No, for a moment, no. All right, very good. Hi, teacher. Hello, Hilda. How are you? Hi. Any question, Hilda? Uh, I guess no, but I try to understand the activity. And I guess, oh, creo que entendido un poco. Yes. Okay. No. The example, uh, no, uh, but I, do, I don't know is correct. Uh, the example, uh, this one, two things I would really miss are my family and uh, uh, my bed when I travel. Two things that I really miss are what? My family and my bed when I travel. Okay, very good. That's that's perfect. Did you create that example? Yes, yes. That's good. Really that's, that's good. Because that's good. Re recently I traveled to very good. Good far. <laughs> and, yes. and 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 it's, it's that my bed is one thing I really miss. Yes, when absolutely. I travel, <laughs> yes. No, that, that was good. I, I love, I really like that example because it was really, really good. So I thought that maybe you saw it somewhere, but no, that's 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 excellent, okay? That's okay. really, really good. Okay, so. And Jose Chicas, uh, in this moment, created another example. Created the other example, not the another. The other, the other, yeah, the, other. the other example. Mm -hmm. All right. So how do you feel the explanation so far? You think it was good? Or was it clear? Yes, yes. The, the, the travel? Yes. Yeah, but I, I did it scared by COVID. It's oh, okay. very, very difficult when I travel. Because in the airplane, nothing, the distanciamiento. 
yes. What do you yeah. say? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you had some stopovers. Yes. Mm -hmm. But um, but it's a it's a one thing uh, I really uh, stress for <laughs> all day because it's very difficult COVID. In United States, uh, the people is, is, is relaxed in this this, uh, this situation. Yes, because uh, a lot of um, a lot of people I have they have the the vacuna. I uh, really got the uh, COVID shot. They got, uh, yes. All right, very good. That's awesome. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. okay, very good. So continue working, guys. Okay, thank you, teacher. How are we doing here, guys? Any questions? We're moving on, teacher. <laughs> All right, very good. Well, was was it clear, guys? Do you think that it was clear? It's clear. It's clear. Hey, how's it going, guys? Everything good? Hey, Everything good, teacher. I think so. Hey, well, just I have an example. Uh, maybe it's one thing I would like is playing as a professional uh, soccer player. In the other way, should be playing as a professional soccer player is one thing I would like. Right? All right. They, yeah, that is absolutely correct. Okay. And my example is one of the things that I really love is riding motorcycle. Riding, riding motorcycle. Motorcycles. Motorcycles. Mm -hmm. Driving motorcycle is one of the things that I riding really love. Motorcycles. Motorcycles. Yes. yes. David, just uh, a question. Uh, on, there are on. three let, ways, let, right? Let, 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 let him finish, okay? Let him finish, right? Ah, then, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, With right. an infinity. All right, so, mm -hmm. so yes, continue. Okay. So, yes, Oscar, what was your example? Um, one of the things that I'd like I like is eating pizza. Very good. Okay. One of the things that I like is eating pizza. Very good. good eating job. pizza is one of the things that I that I like. Very good. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You're correct. Okay. Francisco. Sorry, man. Right, let's go. Um, no problem. Just a uh, one. You said that there are three ways to say one thing, one of the things in the other way. How is it? You can say two things I really like, three things I really like, or, you know, uh, I mean, it's, you, the, you have to finish the phrase with is, okay? And, and you have to use a relative plus, right? So you can say, you know, um, Something, the thing that I right? like the most I, yeah. about this is that, you know, right? I, I mean, but, but yeah, for these examples, because you have to use, you know, a relative, a relative plus, you have to use one thing, you know, two things, or one of the things, you know, Okay, the thank thing you. That I like the most is All right, so All right, good job, guys. Good job. Like, um, okay, all right, it has a lot of beat. See you. Hi, guys. How are you doing here? Hello, teacher. Uh, Hello. we finished already. Oh, you finished them all? Okay. All right. What are what are your examples? Go all right, Ma Monica, Monica, you give me the 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 ones being used as subjects, and Adrian, you give me the ones being used as objects. Okay. Objects. Okay. One thing that I would like to have is my own business. Very good. And Adrian, okay. if you use my that phone. as the object, you go ahead. You understand. You understood. Go ahead. My own my own business is one thing I would like to have. Very good. Okay, All right. Give me another example, Monica. Um one thing 
thing that I would like to have is getting a promotion. Very good. Okay, Adrian. Uh, to get a promotion is one thing I would like to have. Beautiful. Good job. All right. You good. You, you guys are good. All right. Let's go back, okay. guys. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, welcome back, guys. Okay, all right, so I want... I'm just gonna meet her. All right, anyway, so... <laughs> guys, all right, so let's let's have your examples, okay? Right, I want everybody, guys, to give me your examples, okay? So let's get started. So who'd like to give me their, their example? Just one example, guys. Let's use... All right, I'm gonna, just gonna say subject or object, okay? So I want... Subject, uh, Marcos, give me one being used as a subject. Okay, something I like to have is a big garden. Good job, all right. Uh, Ilda, give me one as a as an object. Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, what example? Uh, as the object, okay, give me one example as the object. Oh, okay. The like, like the, the like, like this activity. Part. Yes, the activity. Okay. It's um uh, two things I will really miss are my family and my bed when I travel. Very good. Okay. Good job. Uh, next one. Let's have uh, Rafa. Give me your example, Rafa. As as a sub, as a subject. Okay. Let's use the subject example. Um, one thing I really like to have. Mm -hmm. I really like to have is my brother's hair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a thing with, with hair, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Good job. I got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. Uh, David, give me your example, David. One thing that I love that I loved is Mexican food. Okay. Good job. All right. And uh, object, Francisco. And is riding my bicycle is one thing I really love. Very good. Okay, good job. Uh, it's one thing I really love, right? Very good. Uh, Nori, let's go. Give me a subject example. You are muted, Nori. I'm the teacher. Okay. Traveling is one thing I really love. Good job. Okay, Ernesto Peñate, give me your example, Ernest. As an object. Uh, uh, one thing that I like is to sleep. All right, very good. That's the same example that you always give me. All right, Marcos, uh, give me an example as, an, as a subject and an object. I think that you really gave it's me an object. One. As both of them, both. Okay. Um, one thing I would like to get is the PS5. Mm -hmm. The PS5 is one thing I like to get. Very good. All right. Uh, Monica, give me another example as a, as, a, as an object. Object. Mikel of Ultra Beer is one thing that I really love. <laughs> the what? What was what? I just heard like that's a capoon, that's something like that, you know. Michael of Ultra beer is one thing that I really love. Oh, oh, you're you're talking about a man. Okay, okay. I no. Got it. No. Oh, beer. It's drink. Beer. Oh, I thought that Para you were talking right, about the beard. I thought I thought that you were talking about a beard. You know. <laughs> like, He's la, talking la, about la, Chayang. I thought that he, she was saying, you know, La Barba de Michelo. I thought that he was an uh, Italian guy or something, you know? It's a dream for Friday. 
Oh, okay, got it. All right, good job. All right, good job, Monica. <laughs> You're of my kind. Okay, Tatiana, let's have uh, your example. I right, give me one as an object. Okay, uh, I try. Yes. Um, one thing I would like to do is working out. Very good. That very good. That is that is the subject, right? Very good. Oh. <laughs> but, but no, but that's fine. That that example is okay, right? Uh, what about the being used as an object? Me? Yes. The object. Um, yes. I confused. Um, to do. Uh -huh, um, to. to do is working. No, no, no. Um, so guys. So tell us, tell us your sentence again, Tati. And we're gonna help you. All right, give us your sentence again, okay? And we're gonna help you. Um, uh, one thing I would like to do is working out every day. Okay, so one thing that I would like to do is working out every day, okay? So, so guys, okay? So if I say, you know, if I say that, let me share the screen again here, okay? So if I say that, guys, right? So she said, you know, one thing uh, that I, or I'd like, right? Whatever right? I'd like, I like to do is working out, right? So this is, right? One thing I'd like to do, guys, is working as the subject, right? So I want this guys as the object of the sentence. So how could we turn this over, guys? How we can, how working can we out. turn it around? All right, so working out is, working one, thing out like. is one thing I like to do, okay? So you can say this. So notice that Diana, so you have to change the position after the verb be, okay? So see, the verb be was here, and now it's, it, 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 so you're gonna take number one, Two, see, so that you change positions. That's all you have to do. Number one, I'm sorry, number one, number two, right? Now, number two is here, number one is here. Got it? Mine got it. All right, very good. Very good. Good job, okay? All right, guys. So, guys, I sent you, I sent you the last activity that we're going to have, guys, is the one that I sent you on the WhatsApp group, okay? The instructions are there, guys. Read them. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? All right, let's go, guys. Malin, hello, Malin. Hi, David. All right, let's get to work. With Nuri? Yes. Hi, Nuri. Okay, maybe. <laughs> okay. Complete the sentence about living in a foreign country. Okay. Okay, the first one says one thing I definitely be fascinated by is Oh teacher. Hello. <laughs> Hello, sorry. Okay, that's you guys no are problem. good. <laughs> Yes, right. uh, Monica was on, on a call. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, yes. okay so let's so practice. The first is one thing I will definitely <laughs> be fascinated by is um, getting used uh -huh. to a different culture, maybe. You can use the, the examples above. Uh -huh. My friends, my family getting sick, trying new food. About me or? Mm, no. About Less the exercises. What? No, no, no. Uh, look, look the, the, what is on the, on the photo that they be send us. I think it could, it could be my family mm. or my room at home. Mm -hmm. 
Uh huh. Yes. It's something I really miss. Okay. The next one. Two things I'd be homesick for are. Um, my family. Hmm. That could be my family and my friends. Oh, uh, being away from home oh. and getting lost in a new city. Hmm. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Jose Chica, I have the question. Is, um, his example is perfect, but I don't know. <laughs> the what? I'm sorry? Jose Chica uh, asked the and his example is correct. All right, so his example is correct? Yes. Oh, so you're asking me if he's, okay, yeah, go ahead. Tell me. Mm -hmm. In the chat, uh, the right the example, teacher. You can hey. see? Nope, I can't. Really? Say it, just say it. Was it chicas? Ask, uh, ask he. Read it for me. Uh, the the bill is fortunate. One thing I wish. I have a. This is Tariel. You didn't finish reading. No, no, terminaste leer. What was it again? Uh, the Bill Gates, fortunate, and things I wish I had. Very good, okay. Yeah, that is correct. Um, okay. Max, Max, some for teacher, uh, reading is one thing I would really miss. Yes, reading is one thing I would really miss. You're, you're good. All right, very good. Thank you, guys. We're going to go back now, okay? Okay. All right, guys. So um, it's time to leave, guys. But um, do you have any questions? Was it clear? Yes, yes, it is. Very good. All right, guys. So that's awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night.